It is Friday morning, July 21st, 2023. It's about 10.18 in the morning. Day off. It's about, I don't know, maybe, let's call it 79. It's nice. Nice breeze. Bad fire situation though, very, very bad. Come in over here to see if there's any signs of bid stitch. Because normally this is where they hold bid stitch. And some other thing, there was that other other uh, market that we, that we came here. I had not realized, but that was something different and I hadn't even really bothered to check. I had assumed that it was bid stitch but it wasn't bitch stitch because they normally would put up their sign up there and you know and the music was different and plus they had a canopy if you remember they had the canopy over there and a couple of young ladies kind of like attendants i didn't realize too um how now i got in but i guess it was a kind of a paid i think it was a paid admission or some sort of uh uh, freebie event uh, admittance via e-ticket like Eventbrite or something like that or uh, holy cow or something it's uh I think it's a cuckoo homeless um so what was oh yeah so yeah that's what that was so I think I'm gonna check that's why I came over here because I know they always have, there's always a U-Haul truck right over behind me. And I kind of thought that maybe that was an indication because it showed up like one Friday morning. And I was on my way to work and I'm like, oh, okay. And then that's when that little um, event occurred that day. So, uh, I'm tired. I really, really hadn't planned on going anywhere special or anything. And I was kind of getting to know this uh, other pattern of me, but <clears throat> no, I was, I'm, I was really tired. Um, I was so tired, I actually went to bed just after MASH, which is on like, uh, if you follow like the other, I think I've mentioned this, I kind of watch the other old, the other channels uh, that are non-cable, that have like the retro channels, you know, the the Lucy, the Beverly Hills, the Gilligan's Island, and the MASH, and then there's like the other classic game shows, you know, other than the, the cable ones, they have those, but uh, yeah, so I'm kind of, it's just, there's nothing, honestly, when I had Spectrum Cable, I really couldn't find anything, and I found myself more and more with, in the end, towards Disney, and then not liking Disney, and then mainly just using Tubi, uh, Crackle, and uh, Amazon Prime, and a lot of my content stuff, and a lot of my shows I got from Amazon Prime. Plus, it, it, it's just, it, it's so much un stuff out there that really just doesn't pique my interest. Well, anymore, and never really would have. God, we, we are kind of in the, definitely in the, I don't know, in the uh, Running Man slash Logan's Run type of quasi-intermediacy, infancy of this whole new space age future or whatever. First of all, we do have, kind of like how they would always portray in science fiction movies, there's like, they got shit, shit, shit TV, you know, all these outrageous programs and the person is flipping through the channels and they show outlandish shows or ridiculous or whatever, or stupid or silly. Fast forward to 2023, here we are. You know, and then it was just while ha having Spectrum Cable and I'm like, not really watching much shit. I would switch off the cable and then use the TV aerial and just, there's nothing really worthwhile. I mean, movies, movies are movies, other than Disney. 
But then you also have now this classic. And uh, I've seen the previews and it's it's kind of woke. <laughs> kind of. But we'll see. If I, if I don't get a chance to see it in the theaters, then uh, I'll just stream it somewhere. I mean, I, I like the animation. It's cute. The Spider-Man is still number one for me so far. Number one. I love that little alley. Even when it's actually at its loudest, like during like some maybe a local event or not even some hot summer Pasadena evening sometimes. 
and it doesn't even have to be on the weekend. You know, it's um, it gets filled up, it gets busy. Lucky Baldwin's and all the uh, alfresco places, the eateries out there, they get full. The patios are just kind of low roaring and excitement with just total content. Wait. And it's just a great moment. People are walking through, kids are running, people are playing, couples are walking. And then towards the evening, the lighting is just so ripe, especially from the restaurants and the patio lights. It's just really nice, you know. For me, especially when I was homeless, I love going there and watching everybody else, you know, just have a good time, even though I can't like them, but I am off of them.
Uh oh, Barbie got evicted. Now she's at the Salvation Army. Ooh, love that sky. Just leaving the Salvation Army, checking to see if I can't find any uh, inexpensive tank tops. Nothing. So I believe yesterday was uh, one of the hottest days. Some areas, well, I know like <clears throat> before I left the house, got a warning uh it was a an excessive excessive heat warning on top of the uh like yellow or the red alert that you get an orange alert at least on my app this is the uh, also the adult rehabilitation drop off and i do mean drop off i've literally seen uh, other people just someone stepping out of the back of the car you know you're like in a bad way with someone when you're being driven even if it's by a friend or a um, a loved one to the salvation adult rehabilitation and they make you sit in the back seat I've heard stories like that. It's like, yeah, I, I, I know. It's, <laughs> I can only imagine. Central Park. I was so tired last night. I literally couldn't wait to get to bed. I was waiting just to the very end of MASH. I even forgot to cash in my steps on my uh, on my app. That was like 6.9 miles that I could have cashed in in coins. I just totally forgot. At midnight, it always resets. So I was like, ah, oh, crap, I forgot. All right. Let's see what the... Goodwill store has to offer. No, nope, no such luck. I think the cute young lady that was in that area got a couple. Oh, it's okay. It keeps me going. I think, uh, after after this weekend, I'll go check probably up over up in the uh, Altadena area over at A Axe A C T A S, not Axe. Not like I'm asking a question. Oh, I'm really pooped. Tomorrow, I think it's uh crap. Tomorrow's a good day. Actually, the schedule. I got long, long shifts. So tomorrow I think is, uh, oh no, I think till midnight? I think till midnight. Sunday, I think, and then, uh, I think I might have it transposed, and then eight, probably tomorrow is uh, 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. It's not bad, it's not bad, Jack. That's not bad. All right, kind of hungry, kind of tired, and don't want to go home right now because she's been it's been kind of weird. Um, she's been very loud at night in the sense that the TV and stuff like that. Now, there was 
couple of times where she was watching like sports and stuff like that. And that's, that's, I get it. And she had been for like overnight on a BET awards kick. She kept watching it over and over and over. And her, her, each and every time they would call the name or do a show, she acted all like, like it's the first time she ever watched. And the more she watched it, it was with more exuberance, you know, and louder. And I'm like, ah, this, that had been for like almost two weeks now, at night. And last night she had on some, some channel all, all night, last two nights, the last two nights. run into me um so it's just like uh, at least she's not so far out of bounds but then this morning you know she was barking and stuff and barking uh, humane society oh, how funny there was no pun intended she uh i was like wonder i thought it was that she was uh, fighting with LeVar. And it turns out she's, I think, Rick and his girlfriend. I wasn't sure if they were, like, arguing. I kind of. But it was just, like, just, just, I'm so fed up with her. I am so fed up with I can't believe this lifestyle I've, I've been living in my home life. <laughs> I can't believe I've survived it. I can't believe I have not really snapped. So, I've come close. I've come very close, but, oh, <clears throat> it's hard to describe the feeling of uh, really just wanting to snap. Big boss to win. <coughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> it really shook a lot of stuff out of the trees. <coughs> it was so hard that it actually, like the street dirt, you you actually felt it kind of pelt your your face. Ooh, that. Uh, hopefully, it's only bad down here and not where the fires are. Because this just literally explodes the fires. Ooh. That's nice, but damn. Nature can be uh, cool. Hazier today than it has been over the last week or so. Maybe not some, maybe five days. It was surprisingly clear. But now we got all the fires and stuff. And I just checked. It's 86 degrees. But it is so much nicer because of the breeze. 
I'm gonna go home and get something to eat. I hope uh, she doesn't act up or no one just upsets her. Just, you know, just best yet, just leave, you know, if, while it's still good. Just leave, go home, go, go. All right, folks. Tomorrow, back to work. I will post this later. Love you all. Bye. Comments good or bad, please post.